uh, the members of the fourth estate. I'm Professor Fred Ogola. I am among, among the conveners of Concerned Citizens Movement that convened the launch of the bill that was to be launched yesterday called Mwanainchi Bill. Mwanainchi Bill answers the question of what is called the what. What were we launching? We're launching Mwanainchi Bill that gives citizens the direct power to recall the president directly without passing through any other constituency. Remember the current constitution of Kenya gives sovereign power to the citizens according to Article 1 but does not give them the power to recall the president directly because according to our election we do it using universal suffrage but we have no universal suffrage to recall the president because we use a secondary constituency which is parliament among other institutions and we have done a lot of research and found out that we made some provisions the constitution of Kenya which were negatory, which means you cannot enforce them. For example, we had assumed that parliament will remain independent, and you know very well they are not independent. They have not passed bills rightly. They passed the Finance Act, the Finance, whatever it is. They have been able to vet uh, CS or uh, state officers that actually do not qualify to serve a country with the magnitude of Kenya. We have also found that independent institutions like IBC is not even there. We find that uh, uh, the, the DCI, all those independent constitutional offices are not doing their work and so no one can check them. We also made a provision in the constitution that we shall have a strong opposition when we came with the presidential system. But you remember, it's like we don't have opposition. Opposition must have actually crossed over and has become an appendage of parliament. If you look at the US visit, uh, you look at the picture when everybody on the US celebrating and they became one state in the U.S. So because of those failures of those provisions, we found we need to do something else. Thirdly, we made a provision thinking that the president, anybody becoming president, will have the conscience to be able to treat Kenyans nicely. And in case they find it that they cannot run a country, they can actually resign. Because that's why there's a provision that the president resign. None has ever resigned. And we are having a current situation whereby Kenyans feel that the current head of state do not know where Kenyans are going and it's only decorum that he resigns. So this bill was to give an incentive to any sitting head of state to be able to resign so that he knows if he does not resign, then citizens can recall him. It was also going to protect the supremacy of the constitution. Because if we run a state like this where everybody is disfranchised, whether you go to east, west, north, south of Kenya, everybody is not happy. We can have a, re a revolution where people can come and remove a government and throw away the supremacy of the constitution. So this bill is to restore the supremacy of the constitution by offering true sovereignty to Kenyans. Because it's impossible for the, for the constitution to be supreme if Kenyans are not sovereign. And also we have found a government of Kenya, Kwanzaa, they have been running in a way that they disregarded the constitution. Uh, judiciary doesn't seem to be having the teeth it should have. So all these provisions can only be cured by having a Mwanainchi move where we wanted to amend the constitution through public initiative to give any Mwanainchi power to recall the presidency directly. So we discovered that people have told us that we have Madaraka Day. That's why we are launching on this Madaraka Day. But respectfully so, after the Madaraka Day celebration, we wanted to tell Kenyans that there is no true Madaraka without Mamlaka. We can never have true self-determination if we don't have self-rule, which is through having the powers to decide. If Kenyans cannot decide on anything, like example, you cannot decide on how much taxes you can pay. They can be pushed to the roof. You cannot decide on your health care system. You cannot decide on your education system. You cannot decide who becomes your CS. You cannot decide who becomes your peers. You cannot decide on government services like passports, IDs. Then we discover that Kenyans are not sovereign and therefore it is actually useless to celebrate Madaraka Day when you have no mamlaka. Because when the, our fathers of this country went to fight through Mau Mau, they wanted to get self-rule. And we don't have self-rule 
if we cannot make any single decision. So after that, what we saw, we came up with this Mamlaka, we came up with this Mwanainchi bill, which was having a two very important slogans in it. Akuna Madaraka Bila Mamlaka. And because we wanted to do this thing before the next election, we said Debe Kabla Ya Debe. Why are we saying Debe Kabla Ya Debe? I have heard the president make a speech in the U.S. at the Qatar Center saying, in Kenya, once elected, you must rule for five years. Not forgetting that Kenyans might not be happy and recall you. And we have seen presidents in the U.K. whereby since uh, Tony Blair left the prime minister for U.K., you've seen Gordon Brown coming and going home if he can't work, uh, uh, David Cameron going home, Theresa May going home, Liz going home, we have seen Boris Johnson going home, and uh, now we have Sunak. Maybe if he does not deliver, he go home. But ha what happens to Kenya, where I've had people now discussing about 20 years rule, and then the first two years does not show any promise. And that's why we saw that by launching this bill, it gives Kenyans a chance to evaluate their head of state directly. And if they are not happy, they can be able to recall him back. And by giving Kenyans true sovereignty, for sure we shall be able to have self-rule. Thank you for that. So perhaps yesterday, Prof, what happened while you were launching this bill? And where were you? Uh, first of all, let me say that the organization for launching of this bill was done by concerned citizens. And what we thought that made us to be arrested was that these concerned citizens came in large numbers. I was already in Kaloleni Social Hall along City, City Stadium, and I could see Kenyans who are not even mobilized with any sort of money coming to the seat saying they are really concerned and they were willing to come, come by. The second thing which have happened is that we have done a lot of research and find that Kenyans are disfranchised in every part of the country and Kenyans need some change. And when that was added by the fact that we came up with a bill, which was Mwanainchi bill, which its reception has been great throughout the country, I thought that that was really what threatened the, the people who worked on how we can be arrested and also we really mobilized the media who also volunteered to come and cover this story and those things became very dangerous so as organization we had agreed we begin around 2 p.m so we were at the we are just at a garden square restaurant and the team that were moving from uh, kaloleni social hall were arriving in town i received a call that some of the team who are organizing from that place were being beaten by the police and they were being arrested. And we ran there with my fellow colleague, uh, Joe Chege. When you reach the scene, they just ask a few uh, state questions. Are you Professor Fred Ogola? Are you Joseph Chege? And he said, yes. Are you from Linda Jami and concerned Kenyans? Yes. Immediately were arrested. When you ask why, it was only beating and kicking and harassing and then being thrown at the boot of a Subaru directly heading to um, central police. And I want to take this chance to thank all Kenyans for the overwhelming support they have given us, for messages of good wishes and for the messages of encouragement. In fact, I would sell this, that even if the state thinks they can have monopoly of all this process, whether violence or not, we shall jump as high as they put their barrier. And after being released from the cell, using even the effort that has been done by the concerned citizens of Kenya, I'm even more encouraged that we are willing to jump the next hurdle. No matter how they put it, we shall jump high. Thank you so much, so, Prime Dr. Okay. In this uh, movement, and just a brief explanation of what happened and what you think about the rest. Thank you very much. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, Kenyans, wherever you are. I am Dr. Joseph Shege Mugashia, uh, convener, a convener of the Concerned Citizens uh, Movement of Kenya. First, I will be, I'm very, very grateful and uh, on behalf of the Concerned Citizens and on behalf of all our members who turned out yesterday in large numbers to come to the sensitization meeting and launching of the Mwananchi Bill uh, that seeks to uh, amend the Constitution and uh, have a clause on direct recall of the President and the de Deputy President. 
we were impressed by the response we got from citizens from all over the country. We even had to tell some of the, some of, uh, the concerned citizens not to come to Nairobi. We will be going to them in the counties. Uh, yesterday, when we, uh, when we were about to uh, launch the procession from Parliament buildings uh, to go to Kaloreni Hall, we were accosted by people who, uh, who claimed to be policemen, but we confirmed later they were policemen. And uh, together with uh, the advanced team, uh, comprising uh, my colleague, uh, Professor, uh, uh, Professor Ogola, and some other members, we were arrested. Some of us, actually most of us, were beaten for no reason. And we were taken to the central police station. Uh, we were booked for allegedly con uh, participating in a, an unlawful gathering. Uh, citizens, we had a permit. We, uh, we had a notification. We had applied for a notification to the regional commander of Nairobi County because our meeting, was, our procession was going to go across several jurisdictions of the police. But apparently we were informed we, had, we didn't have that uh, notification. We, we have been released today and we are very grateful to the concerned citizens and all the other people who, are, who, are, who have been very, very graceful and uh, they have supported this initiative. Uh, we would like to say one thing, that it doesn't matter how much violence we are going to get from the police, the government, we will continue. We have looked at the bill, as my colleague has explained, and we know in this country we need to have a, a clause in the Constitution that will be able to remove the president through a direct recall or the deputy president or both of them if they do not satisfy delivery to the citizens. Right now it's almost impossible. Now we appeal to all citizens who are concerned about the direction that our nation is going, the bad direction that our nation is going, to come forward and support uh, this initiative. It is for posterity. We cannot continue having services not being delivered. You know about the passports, you know about uh, health care, you know about education. And we are just seeing our youth just uh, getting frustrated and getting wasted. What kind of nation are we trying to build? We must come forward and support this uh, Mwananchi Bill initiative, which we are calling uh, Hakuna Madaraka Bila Mamlaka. We must have the independence and the power to decide. I call upon all Kenyans, we will be coming to you to collect one million signatures that we require to be able to impress the IEBC uh, to, uh, to start the process of a plebiscite to change the constitution. I thank you very much and we will be coming to you. Thank you. Thanks, sir. You have your